Hello and welcome, it's Bushwhacker here with another Stationeers tutorial. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to hook a gas canister up to your furnace. So we're going to need a couple things for this tutorial. First off, we're going to need a pressure regulator. We're going to need a gas tank storage. A little bit of cable coil. A, our gas canister that we made in our previous episode. And some pipe. So obviously this is a little in depth, but if you have any questions about um, how to hook up the furnace, I have a video on the basic setup of the furnace that I'll leave a link for now. Also, I had an episode on how to filter out all your gases. So if you need to know how to do that, I'll leave a link for that now. And finally, um, I created a tutorial on how to mix your hydrogen and your oxygen together to make fuel for your furnace and your torch. So if you need help with that, I will leave a link for that now. If we have all those things built, then we can start building our gas-powered furnace. First thing that I'm going to put down is my gas tank storage. And obviously, this is where we're going to put our gas tank for feeding into our furnace. We'll place it right here. There we go. And now we're going to take some pipe. So our furnace input is on the bottom here. So if you want to connect to that, you have to have one piece of pipe in between. So we'll put a piece of pipe down. And then we'll start connecting up our pipe from our gas tank storage here. Okay, now that we've got all of our pipes set up, let's go ahead and grab our pressure regulator. And we can throw this pressure regulator right in here. And uh, we will face it down like this so we can get power to it easily. And now we need to hook our power up. We'll hook our power into the bottom here. And now, all we have to do is place our canister inside the container. There we go. And it, it would be a good idea also to have a meter. So let's try that out. Here we go. Just throw this on here. And you can see that our pressure has dropped quite dramatically in our tank. Obviously, that's because the tank has discharged into our piping network. Okay, now that we've got our fuel tank added, we can go ahead and get this thing fired up. The first thing that we want to do is open our valve, just to make sure that we drain out any extra pressure. We want to make, make sure that our pressure regulator is set to about 50 kPa. We're going to be smelting some iron, and that should be more than enough to do it. And then, uh, luckily, I have a crate behind me filled with everything to make some steel here. So we'll throw this in. And just like we did with other furnace, we want to make sure and wait until all the pressure is cleared out. Okay, so there's zero pressure in here. We can go ahead and close the valve and turn on our pressure regulator and wait until this pressurizes up okay we're really close to 50 kPa and there we go so now we will turn our pressure regulator off and as you can see there's a lot of turning things off and on and opening valves and closing them so this definitely isn't the most optimized use of the furnace but it does allow you to use your fuel that you've made and it works pretty well so let's get it fired up click the button here it's heating up and look it has produced some steel for us so we can go we can dump that out and once you're done with that we can go ahead and open up our valve again and drain all that pressure. Our furnace is loaded up again here to do some steel and when I turn it on just take a look look it only gets up to maybe three or eight hundred kPa 
So obviously that's enough to do steel, but it is not enough to do some of the other components. So let's put a new cylinder in and see how we can do something like Ingvar. Okay, we have 25 iron and 25 nickel. Trying to make some Ingvar. Ingvar. We set our pressure regulator to 350, which we just hit. And now we can go ahead and activate it. And it looks like we made some Invar. So we can go ahead and dump that. And we put a new cylinder in here. We actually put two in there. So you're going to be able to do this just a couple times. Uh, I found that with the steel, it looks like you'll be able to do it eight or nine times. If you have to pressurize something up to 350 kilopascals, you only get two or three attempts out of each cylinder. Well, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below. Again, thanks for watching. Hopefully I will see you again next time. Bushwhacker out.